The technique I use is with a calming voice and a soft touch, I'm just going to lift the bird up and as I slowly rotate her upside down, I'm going to slide my fingers around the legs ever so gently. I'm going to lift her upside down and support her. And when done correctly, this has no ill effect on the bird. In fact, she seems to enjoy this. <laughs> I'm going to softly lay her down on the ground here. Now if you have a more excited bird, you might want to hold on to the legs a little longer. Continue to give them a few pets, talking softly to them. But uh, eventually, you'll end up with quite the docile bird like what you see here. At which point, you can go ahead and do an examination and make sure the bird is in good health. So what I like to do is check under the wings. I like to check the bottoms of the feet. And I'm just looking for, you know, any signs of anything sticking to them or any wounds. Or I'm also looking for parasites. Common parasites for chickens would be mites, uh, lice, fleas. And today I found evidence of Meme having some chicken lice, which is commonly brought in by the wild birds in the area. So she'll be getting a treatment of some diatomaceous earth, which is a great product. It's organic. It's all natural. So anyway, once you got the bird in a relaxed state like this, you can go ahead and, and treat them if you need to. And today, like I said, Mei Mei's getting this treatment of diatomaceous earth. And the way you apply this is you just basically spread the powder. You want to get it down all the way to, uh, you know, the skin of the bird. So you got to work it into the feathers. And you can see here that she's almost seems to be uh, enjoying this, like a massage. And that's because I'm being gentle and I'm speaking to her softly as I go along. After we've done the belly and the bottom, we're just going to flip her over and get her backside. And after I'm done with Mei Mei here, I'm going to go ahead and treat the rest of the flock because with, when one bird has an issue like this, chances are they all do. So we're just going to go ahead and assume that and take care of them all. Once I've got her all coated, I just give her a little, little toss. And she's happy and on her way. It's important as overseers of our animals that we do our best to take care of them in every way we can uh, as they depend on us. And in the case of chickens, there's a saying that goes around that a happy chicken is a quiet chicken. And I've really found that to be true. So if your chickens are squawking a lot and they're making a lot of noise, chances are there's something going on that needs to be discovered. Just know that when everything's in order and everything's working out well, your chickens should be rather quiet. Other than when they lay an egg, they'll let you know that they laid an egg for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you're out in the world and out in your garden. Plant more abundance in your life. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.